Okay, if you have a Subaru Outback and when you put it in reverse or drive it clunks and jolts the vehicle, this video will show you how to fix that. First, let's check to see if the mount is broken or not. It's pretty easy to tell that the mount is completely broken apart from the bracket. Next, we're going to remove the screws on the heat shield so that we can move the heat shield out of the way. Have to unplug this. Next, we will unplug the O2 sensor. Get that shield off. Next, you're going to want to have a jack to be able to push the transmission up or down and enable you to get to the mount easier. Are you going to do that one? Next, we're going to remove the screw right here. And continue removing the screws that are holding the mount onto the subframe. There are four in total. Now we remove two screws holding the exhaust to the subframe area. Continue removing whichever screws you have left connected to the mount. Trying to get that one. Now we're going to be removing these four screws connecting the mount to the transmission. Next, we're going to grab that mount and wiggle it until it comes out. You may have to wiggle it a lot because it is kind of tough to get out. With enough wiggling, it will come out. Now look at that mount. It's completely busted. Okay, we already put the new mount in. We had to wiggle it in there a little bit. From there, you're going to drop the transmission back onto the mount with your jack. Now we're going to hand screw the four screws back in that connect the mount to the transmission.
Now let's tighten those screws up. There's that new mount in all of its glory. Next we're going to put the four screws back in that connect the subframe to the transmission mount. Next we're going to connect the heat shield. Next we're going to plug the O2 sensor back in. There you go. And put these final two screws back in. Okay, so now I fixed it and it doesn't clunk when you put it in reverse.